Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul Weymouth. I am reviewing and talking about the things that I read um, during the first week of 2024. 2024 has brought with me a new um, desire to make booktube videos. I did really well the first half of 2023, but then I took a vacation around Memorial Day and I never really recovered. Um, and also I got the internet right around that same time too. Um, yeah, but I am committed to doing these weekly wrap ups in 2024 and this is the first one. So welcome. Um, in these weekly wrap ups, I'll mention the books I finished and the stories I enjoyed. I probably will not be editing these videos. So, um, have fun with that. Uh, just a very quick five minute video each week talking about the things I read and making friends. Also stop by my discord. The link is in the description box. Um, I have a reading room in there where I will be reading an hour each night followed by maybe like a 15 minute chat. That's at 730 Eastern around then. Uh, but I also will be hanging out in there more often, so please stop by and say hello. Uh, without further ado, let's go through the books. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes and to keep me honest to talk about the things here because your time is precious, my time is precious, and we always have more things to read instead of watching YouTube videos, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. This is the prequel to Legends and Lattes, and this was fabulous. I liked this just as much as Legends and Lattes. This has a younger Viv who has been injured um, when she fought a necromancer. Now she is hanging out in this seaside town, and she is helping this bookshop recover financially and have better business. While there, she meets a really cool carpenter. She meets an awesome baker who she has feelings for. She meets a skeleton that helps them with the mystery of the necromancer. And it is just a fun, um, light-hearted book that I thought was great and I would recommend. Next, I listened to From Hoopla on Graphic Audio which has music and sound effects and a full cast. Um, a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Uh, this is, is a very popular young adult series. I'm gonna be trying to read more young adult books in 2024. It is kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling uh, and it has Fae and the different fairy courts and things. Human girl gets taken to the fairy court Everyone loves her. Um, she gets uh, lusted after by the the high court fay, and um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fine for what it was—a fantasy romance with um, a fairy court. So, if you like the idea of a young woman um, and you know her being loved by everyone and doing no wrong, uh, check out this book. Um, next, Nevo's When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain. This is a novella in her series of books with Cleric Chi. And in this one, uh, her party gets surrounded by these tigers that might eat them, uh, but she ends up, I'm sorry, they end up telling a story and they tell a story about this uh, woman who is also a tiger and the person that they fall in love with. And um, this was just as good as the other Nevo books. Um, Cleric Chi is a great character and has a lot of storytelling aspects to it. How to Talk to Anyone by Sebastian Clark, a really quick audiobook on Hoopla. That just reminds everyone to listen to each other. Uh, you're really not going to get a whole lot of your out of your relationships, out of your communication, if you don't listen. 
Um, stop worrying about what you're going to say and listen. And then Clark's World. Um, this is the October issue of 2023. Um, it's issue number um, 205. 205. And um, my favorite stories here were Down to the Root by Lisa Papa Dimitrio. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I said that right. This is a novelette and it's about two co-workers who are repairing satellites and they form a bond with each other while doing that. But one of them becomes gravely injured and the other will do anything to fulfill the injured person's wishes. Great short story um, novelette about friendship that I really liked. And then uh, David Goodman has a story called Such Is My Idea of Happiness, where normal humans are trying to keep up with these modified humans um, in the work world, where modified humans don't sleep, so the normal humans have to take all these like stimulants and stuff. And it's all about like the stock market and the finance world, and I I love that the world. <laughs> It is a commentary on like tech bros and hustle culture, and I really like that. Um, I thought that was a great novelette as well. Um, there's a story in this issue from Suzanne Palmer. There's a story in this issue from Lavi Tidhar, uh, Bella Han, uh, which I enjoyed. Uh, that one was called The Profundus, A Space Love Letter, where AI find these books um, that that uh, people wrote and you know for the longest time AI has only been writing books which I thought that was good too um, then there is a Grace Chan book called Post Hacking the Uninitiated that I really liked um, and then there's a, a story from Amal Singh called Rafi and there's a story from Michael Swanwick called Timothy, an oral history. But once again, I really liked the two novelettes, uh, Down to the Root by Lisa Papa Dimitrio, and Such is My Idea of Happiness from, from David Goodman. So those are the things that I read the first week of 2024. Super happy about it. Um, looking forward to reading a lot more next week. I didn't read as much as I wanted to this week. I think maybe I read around 10 hours when I should be reading about 20 hours each week. So um, can I do better this coming week? But until then, I will see you all next week. Take care and hope you read something great.